welcome to the Geekology Channel. My name is Trev, I am the resident geekologist here and today we're going to talk about the Simgot EN1000 called the King Wonder. I'm not sure about that as a name but it certainly looks pretty snazzy. As you can see I'm unboxing it as we speak. This is the first time I've had a look at these. This will be my warts and all opinion. As you can see, I'm desperately trying to get this thing out. It will come eventually, and there it is. King Wonder. As I say, not sure about the name. Probably sounds better in Chinese. Simgot are a Chinese company, after all. Beautiful calligraphy on it. Some lovely gold lettering. This is a single driver in your monitor, and now you get a chance to look for yourself for the first time. So glass outer and a metal inner, lovely pattern. Give it a 12, Trev, thank you. Uh, King Wonder, yes, all over the packaging. And a lot of packaging there is too. And let's have a look through this lot and see what we've got. Yeah, okay, so a few cards telling you how to use the thing properly. And a little bit of stuff about don't use these while you're driving because you won't hear a darn thing and it will put you off, which is not what we want while we're driving. And yeah, I think if I'm remembering rightly, these were the ear tips. Solar eclipse, yes. Yeah, the ear tips are nothing special, but then, oh, come on, get on out, yeah. They do what they need to do. I use the medium, always the medium to start with. Seldom wrong with those for my ears anyway. And the next bit is the bit that I wanted to talk to you about because this is a jack of all trades because they have interchangeable plug. It's a three and a half mil, so it's not a two and a half balanced or anything like that, but these go very sensitively and there are two extra plugs that you can try out so you can actually change how these sound without having to adjust the EQ. Because EQ is all very well and good, but it's very difficult to get it absolutely right, and sometimes it just sounds a bit darn noisy, doesn't it? Yeah, a nice sort of little card thing there, just showing you, um, with the CEO of SimGot telling you about how this is four years in the making, and they wanted to get it absolutely right. I wonder whether they have. Look at that for a case. Really nice clasp and an eight strand silver or at least silver effect cable. The wiring inside the EN1000 is silver wiring throughout. They've really taken their time on these and a second set of ear tips. And the EN1000 is a single driver in your monitor with a sensitivity level of 108 dB and a resistance of 32 ohms. Well, the two combined mean that they will plug into a smartphone and work perfectly well. I shan't be using a smartphone. I shall be using something a bit snazzier to try them out. And I'll be trying them out any second now, really. So um, I'm fiddling around with these here and yeah just having a show of how to change the jack over. Quite easy, just twist a little bit. It's very strong, those four connectors. Um, so hopefully you're not gonna break it in the process of changing the three to find out which one suits you. And which jack suits you may depend on what actual album you listen to. Uh, rather than your musical tastes for every single type of song that you listen to. The th good thing about these three jacks is for once the differences aren't particularly subtle. You know, you can fairly easily make out which one's which. The one that uh, comes with it as stock is um, sort of the most neutral, I suppose, of the three, um, there's some viscerality in it. Give it a 12, Trev. Yeah, it really is beautiful. And King Wonder is etched in on the back. Now I'm gonna show you how they fit. And the fit, 
as you can see, at least for my ears, look at that. Um, there is bits poking out the front as I turn round, but overall, yeah, we like. We don't mind that at all. Now the UP4 2022 is what I'm going to use, uh, Bluetooth DAC amp. I'm going to use it in the single-ended bit and I'm going to use it on the uh, high sensitivity and there, yeah, wow. Well, I sped that up a bit, but I've spent two hours listening to these now. Favorite for me was the first one that comes stock. That jack plug was the most detailed of the three. Slightly less bassy, but there was some viscerality by viscerality. I mean, the sense of air pushing against the ear that had some viscerality but not as much viscerality as what I call the bass plug and for now we'll call the bass plug the blue plug and the laid back plug is the red one. If you like your music nice and bassy and you want lots of air pushing against your ear in the low frequencies then you're going to be preferring the blue for your music. If you like detail in your sound and an enhanced sound stage and a space of air between the vocals and the instruments, then you're going to be going for the neutral one. That's got slightly less bass, but it's got more detail. The red one is the laid back one. If you find it all a bit too fatiguing, then don't worry, you'll get a slightly less enhanced bass performance with it. High frequencies won't be quite as prominent as they are with the other plugs, but it still sounds really good on either three. It's easy to drive. It sounds an absolute delight. I think it's going to come in at under £200 when it's released in the UK. And I think overall, we've got a good winner here on our hands. Well done, SimGot, and thank you very much for the review. This is the Geekology Channel, signing off.